Hello Aquarius. So guys, this is your bonus reading uh, for mid-September. I hope that for many more of you, this will resonate. The main reading for you guys for mid-September, I really felt was just for maybe one person, two people. So um, this is with my love. Now in meditation, Aquarius, um, I saw a woman walk into a very glamorous shop. It was really low lit. They had a plush carpet on the floor. They had spotlights everywhere, uh, spotlighting what looked like expensive jewellery, really beautiful clothes. And this woman felt as if she was sort of being scrutinised when she walked into the shop. You know, there was a bit of a snooty sales lady who was sort of looking her up and down as if to say, oh, can you afford what's in this shop, you know? But she thought, no, I'm going to persevere. And she picked out a really beautiful jacket and she went into this really amazing, luxurious dressing room uh, with mirrors all the way around it. And she put it on, but when she scrutinized the jacket, she thought to herself, you know what? It's really cheap fabric. It's incredibly expensive, but the fabric isn't that well made. The buttons are a little bit loose. The trim on it hasn't been sewn properly. It's all a little bit wonky. And she thought to herself, I'm not going to do this. It looked wonderful in the main shop. It looked as if this is exactly what I've been looking for. But she thought to herself, it's not for me. It's not worth the cost. And she came out of the dressing room, gave the jacket to the sales lady and said, I'm so sorry, it doesn't fit. And she walked out of the shop and gave a massive sigh of relief. Thank God I didn't just buy it, seeing it on the hanger. She had to see it with the lights full on, right? She had to see it from all angles. So Aquarius, I don't know whether or not you're going to be contemplating moving into something. If you are, make sure that you scrutinise whatever this is very closely, whether or not it's a relationship, whether or not it's a new job, whether or not it's something that you're buying. It could be a high ticket item, right? Make sure that it's of the quality that you expect. Because it could look lovely in the setting, but when you take it out of the setting, it may not be quite so nice, right? It may not be exactly what you're looking for. You may be disappointed if you make an impulsive decision. Okay, that's all that Michael's given me. So guys, let's jump in. Now the deck that I'm using is the Legacy of the Divine, Chira Marchetti. And let's um, find out what this is all about, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. So Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the bonus reading for my Aquarians. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, mid-September 2023. Mm. <laughs> um, I'm laughing because I'm seeing somebody in a bookshop and they're looking at the cover of a book. And it's looking really exciting, fascinating. But this woman is flicking through the pages thinking, wow, it's quite boring. It's a bit long winded. Uh, it's got this super exciting front cover. I don't think it's going to be a very exciting read. I, I don't think I'm going to bother buying it. She's putting it back. There's something here, Aquarius, about you looking at something or someone at face value and realising that there's not a lot, dare I say it, underneath, right? There's not a lot underneath, okay. Hmm. The star. Beautiful, straight out with your Aquarian energy. Aquarius, you may feel that something is a dream come true. Absolutely everything that you've ever wanted. 
But on closer inspection, you may decide to pull back. You may decide to pull back. Temperance. Yes. You may be tempted to go for something, but on closer inspection, you're going to be tempering that impulsivity to really look at something very closely. Sagittarian energy there. In the past, Queen of Swords, Aquarius, this is your beautiful energy, so I could be connecting with a feminine. I don't know why, I'm seeing that contraption she is holding in one hand. I'm hearing the words picking apart. You know how if you sew something and it's not quite straight, you've got to unpick the sewing and, and do it again. In the past, you wanted to pick at something. You wanted to analyse something a little bit more closely. You wanted to get to the core of whatever this was. I need to delve a bit deeper. I need to use a magnifying glass, right? I want to see what this is really all about. But I don't think you've got the chance in the past. I think with a Knight of Swords, Aquarius, you may have realised that someone was hiding something from you. Maybe you felt that not all the information was forthcoming. And you may have felt a little bit cross about that. But I don't think your anger caused this person to divulge any more. They just immediately pull back. Oh, OK, Aquarius wants to dive a little bit deeper in this. Uh, no, I think it's my time to make a quick exit, is what I'm hearing. And you might have felt disappointed. You were dealing with somebody who didn't want you to delve any deeper. And I think because you were sat in suspicion and they were sat in fear, the whole thing just disintegrated. Three of Swords. You're feeling a little bit heartbroken, Aquarius. Because you really, really wanted this to be that thing, right? You wanted this to be the one. Or you wanted this situation to work out. And it didn't. And it didn't. You didn't get a chance to delve any deeper. In the immediate future, the Page of Coins. Aquarius, if this is romance, you're going all the way back to square one again. You're saying to this person, no, we're not going to start... From where we left off, we're going to go back a little bit, right? You could be starting off as friends with someone to really get to know them at a deeper level. Maybe you jumped in very quickly before. You wanted to sort of delve deeper into their situation, their mind, their personality. They may have detached from you, not wanting you to delve deeper. And because you were suspicious and they were full of fear this disintegrated. You don't want that to happen again. You want to know who this person really is. What am I getting myself involved with here? You're taking it really slowly. If this is something to do with a career, you may have an amazing opportunity. It could look fabulous on paper, but this is you thinking, yeah, but what do I actually need to do on a day-to-day -day basis? Is it really for me? Are they glamorising this job or is it actually something that I wouldn't want to do? So again, you're asking for information, page of coins. What are the day-to-day -day responsibilities? What do I actually have to do during the course of a normal working day? What you're fearing is the moon, yeah. What you're fearing is that... Someone here is hiding what this actually is or who they actually are. Someone's not wanting to show you everything and you're a bit nervous. Cancerian energy for some. We've got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius. We've got a lot of air energy. 
whatever this is in the environment which is their energy three of coins they want to work in partnership with you so this could be a job opportunity it could be the opportunity of investing in a business or going into partnership with somebody maybe they are starting a new business and they want you on board this could be somebody who wants to patch up the foundation of a relationship but they seem to be very strategic. They've got two pentacles here and they're working on a third. So are we talking about you being a third wheel? You're nobody's third wheel, right? You may be nervous that they're coming in wanting to start all over with you, but are they connected to somebody else? What you're hoping is to have the courage to ask some very straight questions. What is your true situation? If this is romance, who was the last person that you dated? Are you definitely completely disconnected from your past person? Do you have any children? You're wanting to delve a lot deeper. You're not taking this person at face value. If this is a career opportunity, or somebody who wants you to get involved with something, you're asking for documentation. What are the facts? What are the latest profit and loss accounts, right? How well did they do last year? What industries are they advertising within? What is the advertising budget? You know, you are delving a lot deeper. You just don't want to get yourself involved in something that could either cause you some kind of loss in the future or could simply be a waste of your time. You're being very analytical. The outcome is celebration. The outcome, Aquarius, is the Two of Cups, which actually sheds a really positive light throughout the whole of this reading because you never really know until the final card comes out right so I feel this is potentially romance although some of you you could be moving into a very successful business partnership and this person is being upfront and honest with you okay which is really good news so if we're looking at this in terms of love I think this is someone who wants to build a foundation with you I think they do have good intentions you may have had an instinct in the past that this person was hiding something, but I think what they may have been hiding was either that they were feeling very insecure, that they couldn't give you what they felt that they wanted to. It could be somebody on the breadline and you're doing very well and they simply felt that they couldn't offer you um, what they wanted to in a relationship. They couldn't take you out to nice restaurants, whatever this is. I do feel as if they're coming in to see if you would be interested in getting to know them a little bit better. And I think, Aquarius, you're going to say yes. But you're not jumping right in at the point that you two disconnected. You're going back. You're starting at the page of coins all over again. Let's just... Mm, Let's just build a friendship. I don't really know you that well. We didn't get a chance to get to know each other. Let's, if you don't mind, let's kind of start from scratch. And you'll know, Aquarius, whether or not this person is genuinely interested in you, because if they turn around and say, oh no, um, okay, so you, you just want to be friends for a while, right? Yeah, no, that's not for me. Um, they're obviously not that interested. And it's their loss, right? But because you got the two of cups, I think this person will agree. I think they'll agree. Clarification for you, the Emperor. So you could be connecting in the future Aquarius with an Aries, or you could be simply feeling as if this person has stepped up. This is someone who is ready to commit, ready for a serious relationship. They've taken charge. Six of coins. This is someone who is ready to put in the work equal give and take. Now, Aquarius, if this was someone that hid from you that there was 
uh, a connection with someone else. This person, to be honest, could have been married with the emperor. They are going through divorce. They may not have a lot to offer you with the three of coins, but they do want to rebuild the connection. So this person could have just got divorced or they're finalizing a divorce. So Aquarius, this is what you're thinking about. And this is their energy. So yes, the world, they have finalized a cycle, completed a cycle. They may be connecting with you over the World Wide Web. They could want to travel to see you if you guys live at any kind of distance. Yes, they've ended a cycle and they've moved themselves to calmer waters. Strong travel energy. They could be moving to your area or wanting to travel to see you in particular. Underneath the deck, Six of Cups. Yes, Aquarius, this is somebody coming back from your past who might have been a little bit elusive before. And I think whatever happened, you definitely decided to move away from the situation not really trusting that it was going to lead you to a beautiful relationship. Nine of Wands. Five of Coins. Ace of Wands. Okay, there's going to be a lot that you're going to have to... Think about, sit in, and talk to your person about, okay? High Priestess, the Magician, okay. The reason why I said that, analyse this, think about this, talk to your person about this, is because... You're stressed because, first of all, this could have started as a Friends of Benefits one night stand situation. Second of all, this person may have actually still been connected to a karmic partner. So those two things need careful consideration, right? Thirdly, this is somebody who may be struggling financially. So yes, they may be free of a connection, but this person may not have been totally honest with you in the past. They may have been sat in a lot of lust and desire in the past and you felt uncomfortable. And thirdly, if they have disconnected from their person, it's very good news. But are they just bringing three pentacles to the table, right? I mean, this person may have had to cope with a lot of financial loss. And you want to ensure, because you're sitting in star energy, that this is someone not wanting to lean on you um, to sort of benefit them. You're wanting to make sure that they're in it for the right reasons. And I think they are with the Two of Cups, but we're going to delve in and just make sure, all right? I don't know why, Michael's taking me to a concert hall and there is a ballet taking place and there's a ballerina wearing a tutu. She's on her points and she's doing a series of pirouettes and she's making sure she keeps herself focused on one particular thing at the back of this concert hall. And so when she flips her head round and she keeps doing these pirouettes, she doesn't lose her balance. I'm hearing the words concentrate, 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 concentrate. So Aquarius, the divine wants you to concentrate on the most important thing that this person is relaying to you. There's going to be a series of things that they relay to you. The divine is saying there's one very important thing that you need to concentrate on. Okay. Hmm. All right, guys. Let's do this. So Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the star crossed with the temperance card? They're telling you to coast, to sit in a temperate energy. This is you not wanting to lose your balance. Three of Cups, yes. I'm almost seeing this woman as a tango dancer, right? Drinks flowing, it's all very exciting. You're talking about reunion. I'm hearing concentrate. You could be so caught up in the excitement 
of reuniting with this person that you're not looking at the facts. Yeah, because with a tower, this is going to be a shock. You are not going to expect this in a million years. Airy Scorpio energy. You're just not. What is on Aquarius's mind? The Page of Cups. They're coming in to apologise. Queen of Coins. They're coming in to apologise because what they didn't tell you is that they were in a committed relationship. Possibly with an earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. Or Aquarius, you could be a masculine and you may be getting an apology from a queen of coins. But I'm hearing, look underneath the veil. I don't know what that means. Look more closely. Look more closely. Ten of Pentacles. The Fool. Aquarius, this is somebody taking a massive leap towards you. They're talking about reuniting. They're talking about coming back together again. They're talking about building a foundation with you. But I want to keep saying, look closely. They may be saying to you, I'm so sorry for what happened in the past. I was with somebody else. I do apologise for that. But are they actually saying that they've ended the situation with that person? Or are they just apologising for not being honest with you? Make sure that you listen to what this person is actually saying. Because if you imagine somebody's knocking on your door, the door flies open, you're in shock. Oh my goodness, it's the ex, right? And this person steps in and says, I'm so sorry for what happened before. I do apologise. I wasn't honest with you. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Um, I was connected to somebody. I was. Um, and I just wanted to apologise for that. Well, um, they were connected to someone. Analyse that. What do they mean by that? Have they just walked out of this person's house? Have they gone through divorce? Have they moved into legal separation? Or have they just had a row with that person they've decided to come back to you? They're going to be using elusive words. So you want to get to the core of this. I'm seeing now this ballerina doing these pirouettes. She's really concentrating on this one point at the back of the hall. She can't lose concentration. Be careful, Aquarius, you're not so caught up in the excitement of this person coming back to you that you're not looking at the facts or you're assuming something, but this person hasn't actually said that, right? Pick it apart. Pick it apart. Um, I, I, just, want, I just want to check something, says Aquarius. You say you, that you were with this person. Well, what is the situation now? I mean, are you guys still living together? Are you trying to sell a house? Are you divorced? Um, if this is a baby mama, have you given her money? Is she okay with that? Pick it apart. They want you to get out your magnifying glass, Aquarius. Because I think this has a really good chance of working out because you guys are sitting in the Two of Cups. But just be very aware of exactly what this person's situation is. And don't be bowled over by the glamour of the setting, them taking you to a romantic candlelit restaurant, holding your hand across the table. Right? Disregard the trappings. Get to the core of their situation. <clears throat> So in the past, Aquarius, with the Queen of Swords, you wanted to delve deeper, but you didn't get a chance to because I think this person just ran off. Yeah, you were in your head, not quite knowing everything, feeling a little bit nervous. And so Eight of Cups, you walked away from them or they walked away from you. 
and it was sort of done, is what I'm feeling. Yeah, Ace of Swords, it was done. But you may have always looked back at the past, wondering if that would have ever have worked out. You didn't get a chance. You didn't get to delve deeper. After you disconnected from them or they disconnected from you, there were a few harsh words spoken, maybe out of upset, heartbreak, confusion with the Knight of Swords. What actually happened with the Knight of Swords? Okay, King of Swords. So if I'm connecting with a masculine energy, you may have asked for the truth and you may not have got any response back from this person at all. They may have just not responded to that question. Or with the King of Swords Aquarius, you may have known that you met your true other half, King and Queen of Swords. But you might have felt this person was a bit strategic. Yeah, because with the Knight of Coins and the Faith card, you could have connected with a Taurus. This is someone that fed you all the right lines, made you have faith in the connection, made you feel this is the one. And they may have even have moved towards you as if they did want a relationship. But what was their true situation? Did they actually ever tell you? Did you get that information from them? So whoever the, this is, they're coming back. But you need to scrutinise exactly what situation they're in now before you take them back. Why is Aquarius sat in the Three of Swords? Five of Cups, yes, because they left you feeling very confused, as if maybe you weren't good enough. They left you out in the cold. I have a feeling they just ran off or something. What happened? Oh, five of swords. Yeah, they ran off. They sabotaged the connection. But again, um, you didn't maybe know exactly what situation this person was in. You, you didn't get a chance to find out. They kind of just left. You may have thought, oh, okay, they just wanted a casual connection. Well, they're coming back in again now. They want to rebuild this, but you need to be careful. You're not going from the frying pan into the fire. Lovers. Gemini energy. What you're thinking about is that they probably had another option and they have chosen to come back to you. They've chosen to end a situation with the other option. But who exactly was the other option, right? Aquarius, who was the other option? There's something here you need to delve a lot deeper into. They could still be a little bit elusive. What they're going to say to you is, a relationship has ended, I've moved to Karma Waters and I want to work on the situation with you. Yes, but what exactly happened between you two disconnecting and this person coming back in? Right? What exactly happened? Who was the other person? So let's get timing, guys. I don't know why I feel as if I'm on the banks of a river with a fishing rod and I'm not getting any bites. I'm still not getting to the core of what this person may have been hiding before. But we'll find out. We'll get there, right? <laughs> we'll get there. So Archangel Michael, when do we have timing for the page of coins and the three of coins for my lovely Aquarians? Thank you, Michael. Soon. Okay, 6th of October. Okay. He's pointing forward. 3rd of November. I'm hearing that phrase, if you don't ask, you don't get. You need to ask more questions, Aquarius. You need to ask more questions. Right, Michael, we're delving into this person's energy. What situation were they in in the past? The death card. Okay. This person could be a Scorpio. They were in a transformative phase in the past. They disconnected from an old cycle. Part of them they let go of. They let go of part of them, part of themselves. Okay. 
justice, Libra energy. So the death card and the justice card, they could have ended a legal contract. This one also came through, the sun. They could have ended a legal contract with a Leo. Or this is somebody who was in a contract with somebody at a distance. What situation are they in right now? Let's just check their single. What situation are they in right now? They both want to come out. Okay. Seven of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. They desperately want to move into a new cycle with you, but there's something that they're not telling you. There's, I'm sorry, guys. There's something they're not telling you. What is the Seven of Swords? What are, they, what are they not saying to Aquarius? What are they not saying? Six of Wands. They want to win you. Or they want to be very successful. And that somehow relates to being with you. Yeah, we are picking this apart, Aquarius. What is the Six of Wands? Five of Wands. They want to fight off the competition. They don't want anyone else to have you. They don't want anyone else to have you. Seven of Wands. They want to prevent you moving forward with anyone else. I'm hearing ownership. Ownership. How do they feel about Aquarius? How do they really feel? Four of Cups. That you're not going to be interested. How do they really feel about Aquarius? I'm hearing you're too high up. This person is looking at that cup. It's as if Aquarius in the nicer sense. They know they're reaching too high, but they just can't help themselves, right? Two of Swords. They're pushing down their emotion, which is not good. Why are they blocking their true feelings? Is this person being strategic? Why are they pushing down their feelings? What are they trying to block? The fact that they are sat in the Ten of Wands. They are in a very, very difficult situation. They can't cope. What is the Ten of Wands? Why can't they cope? Why are they in this very heavy, difficult situation? Because they're still connected to somebody at a distance. They're wanting that ship to come in, but they are still feeling a lot of burden relating to someone at a distance. The world, the three of wands. Hmm. What are they going to say to Aquarius? I don't want to let you go, four of coins. Strength card. They're holding something back. They're holding something back. They're not telling you everything. Now, with the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, they could simply have financial issues, major financial issues. Or they could be hanging on to somebody at a distance and they just don't want to talk about it. They don't want you to really delve into that. Leo energy with the Strength card. What are they most fearful of? What are they fearful of? What is worrying this person? Two of Wands, that you're going to have to know that they are going to have to make a decision, which means that they haven't made a decision yet. They've still got two options. So, yeah, something's come to a close, maybe emotionally for them. But there's still a tie 
to someone from the past and it may have reference to their money or lack of it. What do they hope to achieve by being with Aquarius? Do they genuinely love Aquarius? What are they hoping to achieve? You seeing things from a different perspective. They're trying to twist your perspective. I'm seeing a kaleidoscope. Do you know what one of those kaleidoscopes you had as a child where you twist the end and the beads fall in different patterns? I'm now seeing a man with a camera and he's soft focusing something so it's it's not razor sharp he's moving it into soft focus they don't want you to look at a big problem aquarius they're hoping that you'll just accept moving into a situation with them i don't know aquarius whether or not this is going to make you feel uncomfortable but you know uh, i think the the emotions are there with the two of cups you're going to firmly put this person in the friend zone, though. And I think that's wise. I think that's wise. How is Aquarius feeling with the page of coins? How is Aquarius feeling? Yeah, you're going to keep it really light. Page of coins, page of wands. Wow, OK, so uh, great to hear from you. My goodness, it's been a while. What have you been up to? Um... Let's get together and have a chat. You're keeping it really light. It's almost as if Aquarius, you're being just as strategic, but the way you're doing it is making this person feel as if you're very excited about this. You're not really wanting any more details. You're just going to accept what they're telling you. But no, you just want to find a way in. You want to get closer to this person by making them feel very comfortable, but you're very chilled about this. What is Aquarius thinking about when this conversation with this person happens or when you two meet up again? Yes, Aquarius, you are very comfortable knowing that you are sitting in the Nine of Pentacles. You're stable, you're grounded, you're independent. For many of you, you've got a great career. What you're thinking about is whatever happens with this person, I am absolutely fine. I'm not looking at leaning on anyone. I can take care of myself. I give myself a great life. So even if this doesn't work out, then I'm very happy with that. You're under no stress whatsoever. You're in a very zen place. What is on Aquarius's mind? The chariot. You've moved on. You've excelled. You've progressed. You're doing well. It's almost as if you've told yourself, well, I've left this person behind in the past and I've done well. So whatever happens in the future, I'm still going to be sitting in the energy of victory and success. Whatever happens with them going forward. I don't have to move into a new connection with them. We could always keep this as friends, right? You're just not stressing. Yeah, you're just not worrying about this. Because Aquarius, you know you have a lot of other options. You don't have to take this person back in terms of building a relationship with them. You don't. You've got options around you. Ace of Cups, but you've got the opportunity of rebuilding this if you feel you want to. What is the energy between these two people? Four of Swords. I think you've both done a lot of healing. You've both been thinking about each other. But why do I feel, Aquarius, you're in a stronger position? Because this is you successful, calm, balanced, you may be doing well in your career. 
You've got a lot going for you, Aquarius, and I feel as if whoever this person is has genuine feelings for you. But what they're not telling you is they could be struggling a lot financially and or they are still somehow connected, attached, stuck to somebody from their past, but they, they don't really want to talk about it. Well, they're going to have to eventually, right? Now, Aquarius, I'm really trying to be positive with this reading because I do think the emotions are there. But again, look at the details. Look at what this person is not telling you or look at the words that they use. Oh, yeah, that relationship is over. Well, yeah, but what exactly do you mean by that, right? What exactly do you mean by that? Are you still in contact with this person? You know? So Aquarius, the final card is lovely. It's the Two of Cups. So what is the Two of Cups for Aquarius? This is you two having those strong emotions and realising that the love is there, right? Empress. You have the chance of getting really serious with this person. You have the chance of getting serious with them. Eight of coins. But I think Aquarius... You're going to sit in Empress energy and let things naturally unfold, knowing that you two have feelings for each other. But what I feel that you're wanting to do, again, is analyse the facts. Look at this person. They're really studying what's written on that piece of paper, really looking at it. So you're going to be nurturing yourself, enjoying rebuilding this foundation, but you're not going to stay blinded to the facts or you're not going to stay blinded to what they're not telling you, if that makes sense. What is Aquarius finding? What is Aquarius uncovering relating to this person? Okay. King of Cups. Now, it could be very simple, Aquarius. What you could be uncovering is that they simply hid their feelings from, from you. They were in a relationship that wasn't going anywhere. And they've detached from that person because they love you. Why do I feel there's more? Nine of Cups. I'm hearing they like to be indulged. And we've got the King of Coins. Is this somebody who likes to live a good life? Likes to buy expensive things? Live in beautiful places? Um, oh, I'm getting a bit of a tricky energy coming through. Uh, or Aquarius. Because I'm connecting with a feminine Aquarian. Is this somebody that now and again likes to indulge in same-sex connections? Mm -hmm. Somebody who may swing the other way now and again. They may not want you to know that. Yeah. Two of coins. Aquarius, I mean, each to their own, okay? No judgment at all. But if you are, say, a heterosexual Aquarian woman and you've got a guy coming back to you, what he may not be telling you is that his previous relationship was with a guy, not a woman. And for many of you, um, you may feel it's not a problem. It's fine. OK, you swing both ways. All right. But for a few of you, it's going to stop you in your tracks. Because even if the love is there, you're going to feel uncomfortable with that. But what if they get fed up with me and they decide to have a one night stand with a guy, right? It's just going to make you feel a bit uneasy, maybe. You may also want to talk to this person about money. Because we asked what this person was hiding. 
They may be less about the emotion and more about the financial stability. They like to be indulged. They like to live a good life. And they could be juggling just two pentacles. This could be you trying to figure out if they are massively in debt, which is why they're jumping towards you. But it's tricky because the love is there, right? The love is there. Judgment. Okay, Aquarius. This is what you're going to decide, decide to do. You're going to put this person in the friend zone. And I think whilst you get to know this person all over again, you're going to be wanting to infiltrate your way into this person's life, meeting their friends, maybe members of their family, maybe going to their home, going to their workplace. You're going to want to really get to know this person before you delve fully into a relationship because this person is coming towards you to say they're ready to really get serious. And this is you just using your intuition. Is there something here that they're hiding from you that they don't really want you to know about? What is going to happen between Aquarius and this person? Ten of Cups. You two could have a really beautiful Ten of Cups life. Ten of Cups, Two of Cups. King of Wands. You're very attracted to this person. And they are quite romantic with the Knight of Cups. And with the Four of Wands, wow, guys, you two could talk about moving in together in the next few months, living together. Seven of Coins. This is somebody who really wants to step into the energy of the Emperor. We've got all four kings on the board. And you're coming through as the Empress. Seven of Coins, they want you to protect your money, protect your investments. And they want you, this is the divine, and they want you to make sure that this person is happy to be open and honest. They're not avoiding any questions. I mean, guys, you're not going to be there interviewing this poor person, but you do want to know the truth of their background, the truth of what they're looking for. Um, their job status, their financial status. Why did a connection end in the past? Who was the connection with? You're being asked to delve a little bit deeper. Ultimately, this could go all the way. But there may be a few things that they're not telling you that might make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. And you want to make sure that this person is ready to really open up. If there's any sense that they are hiding things, they are covering over their tracks, they're not really wanting to delve into their past, you need to make sure that they are comfortable with doing that with you. This could be somebody simply embarrassed about their past or shy about their past. Because you want to make sure who you're actually building a relationship with. But for many of you, this could go all the way. Just be savvy, right? Get out your magnifying glass, ask those important questions and take it right back to day one. Put them in the friend zone. And you will know if this person is really for you. So, Aquarius. I'm going to get some messages from the divine and I think that's going to wrap up this reading. Here we go. Sacred soul portals. What have we got, please, to close out this reading for my lovely Aquarians? Good fortune. Abundance and prosperity are flowing into your life now. Open your arms to receive. So finances are looking very good, Aquarius. New world. Wow. Wow. There's a whole lot of fresh opportunities awaiting you if you just take a chance. Spiral.
leveling up, you're on the verge of a lucky break. Take risks and be on the lookout for a leg up. Leg up from the divine. For some of you, this is you going through ascension or a second or third ascension. Passage. In the moments between going from one place to another, you taste the sweetness of life. Aquarius, you have some incredible cards. Good fortune, a new world, ascending, moving up in life and enjoying the day to day of living your life. Final message for my lovely Aquarians. Sudden strike. You get some shocking news, but not to worry. The universe is taking care of you always. Make of that as you will. So, my beautiful Aquarians, I am leaving the reading there. I hope it's helped. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye now.